Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry and I'm going to show you how to crochet this ladybug. You'll need a small amount of red and black cotton or wool. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton. I find it gives me a crisper finish. You'll also need a crochet hook, sewing or darning needle and scissors. I find it easier to stitch my work together with sewing thread so I'll be using black thread but you can use whatever you, you're comfortable using. I'm going to use white fabric paint for the eyes but you could use beads or sew the eyes on. I'll be crocheting the spots but you could embroider them on or you could also use sequins depending on what you're going to be using your ladybug for. We'll be starting with the body and red cotton so we'll get started. I'm going to be starting with a magic loop or a magic circle. Now there are many ways to do a magic loop but I tend to start as if I'm going to be doing a chain and instead of pulling it tight I pull it loose. So I've got a little loop like that and then I'll be doing three chain and I'm going to work 14 double crochet into my loop. So a double crochet is round the hook, go into the circle and pull up another loop around and pass your hook through two loops and you've got two left round and through the last two. So I'm going to do 14 of those into, into my circle. I'm going to go over the two lots of cotton there. I've got my 14 double crochet so I pull on my tail and just pull it tight as tight as I can. Now I'm going to do a slip stitch into the third chain. A slip stitch you just pass a hook into the chain, pick up a loop and pull it through the two. For the second row we're going to work three chain we're going to work a double crochet into the same spot as the first chain, the chains. And now all the way around we're going to work two double crochet into each stitch. Just like that. Now I'll complete this row and I'll be back. Now I've completed my two double crochet into each stitch so I'm now going to slip stitch in the third chain just like that. For the third row it's three, three chain to begin with and then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next two and two double crochet into the following stitch. 
We're going to repeat that all the way around the circle. So I'll continue around the circle and I'll meet you at the end. Now I've got to the end so I'm going to do a slip stitch into the third chain and that's our body so I'll fasten it off just cut the yarn and pull the loop through and our body's done I'm now, now going to start on the head I'm going to be using black cotton for the head I'm going to make another magic loop like that and I'm going to work four chain into the loop now I'm going to do nine treble put the yarn around twice and then pick up another loop in the circle yarn around take off two yarn around take off two yarn around, take off two. So round twice, pick up a loop in the circle, yarn around, take off two, yarn around, take off two, yarn around, take off two. We're going to do nine. So there's our nine treble and we're going to pull the ring tight but we're not going to join so we've got like a half circle. I'm going to now do four chain and I'm going to work 12 treble evenly across the bottom there of the half circle. I'm going to put my hook into the, the treble or the chain
that's what our head should look like. It's finished, so I'll fasten it off. Now I'm going to do this marking for along the back. So I'll need to do 18 chain. Now I'm going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So miss three into the fourth, I'll just do a double crochet. Now into the next stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet. So round the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop, round the hook and take off all three stitches. Into the next cha chain I'm going to work a single crochet. So I just go in and pick up a loop in the chain round and take off the two. Now I'm going to pass my, my thread under and pick up the loop and I'm going to do a chain and then into that same, the back of the stitch where I work the single crochet I'm going to work another single crochet. Into the next stitch I'm going to work another, the back of the next stitch I'm going to work a half double crochet. And then a double crochet into the following stitch. And that's the marking for the back. So we'll end that off. Next we're going to make the circles or the spots for the, the back. You make four of these. So you start with a magic loop, work one chain and four single crochet into the loop. So round, pick up a loop in the circle and round, take off two. Pick up a loop in the circle, round, take off two. So just two more, four of those. And then we pull the loop tight and then we'll do a slip stitch into the chain. And then you've got a little circle. I'll then that off. Fasten. And I'll have to make three more of those. Now I'm going to make the antenna. Now we'll have to leave a tail so we can sew it to the head and then we'll do six chain and a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and that will just give a little circle at the end. Fasten that off. Now I'll just make three more circles for the back and another antenna and finish off all my endings and then I'll come back and show you how to put it together. Now these are all our pieces. Now we'll start by attaching our marking to the back. Line that up against the edge of the circle and up through the centre and I'll just catch that in 
in there. I'll just hang that off in there. I find it too hard to use cotton for stitching. Use my sewing cotton. And I'll stitch. The markings to the back first. Just make sure it goes across the hole in the centre and will line up around your circle. the markings on now you attach the head the head just fits along like that with the curvy bits around and then just attach it
I do have my patterns on my website. The details of my website are down in the description below. So you could check that out. If you like my videos, if you could subscribe or like, that would be good. That's a head on. So next we'll attach the little circles or your sequence, whatever you'd like. So we put them two on each side. Like that. Something like that. I'll attach them and I'll come back. Now my spots are on, so next I'm going to attach the antenna. I'm just going to stitch them on in here, just slightly each side of centre. Just catch them. of times then just weave the end into the crocheting. Just like that. It off and the other one just in there. Okay, it's all finished but the eyes, so I'm just going to use a bit of fabric paint just to put the eyes on. Two little eyes. There. And that's your ladybug finished. Next I'm going to do a, um, a series of a train. I'll start with the engine next and just move along and do, do the whole train. So I hope you'll join me then. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.